Hello, hello. Double length episode today, since I'm planning on being out of the house most of tomorrow. Now, let's see, I believe it was time... ...to return to the story. Hey, come on. Incidentally, in case you didn't know, we we now have the entire mandatory cast. The entire the entire mandatory party. Okay, so we go to Protodome. I like this theme. It's very atmospheric. Uh, let me see here. Oops. Huh. May have gone the wrong. Well. Oh wait, no. This is where Johnny is, so that makes life easy. What up, Johnny? Yeah, let's change the race mode. And don't chicken out, babe. You know, it's funny. When I first played this game, I don't remember this section, the, the you know, kind of engine sound sounding like that. I remember it being more... Use that jet back and don't chicken out, babe. Okay, we need to go this way. Bandits? We're not bandits. And who's this Sir Crawley? I'm gonna issue with that. Here, I saw it. Fool, there's nothing here. But, but it's true, even. So it's going. Let's scram, Garvin. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, let's see what's the other way. Those look nasty. Eggder? Oh. Good show. Okay, can't get over that way. Looks like this is my only option at this point. Very good. <laughs> Frog's like, bleh. Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, you can't get down there. Okay. Bad place. Much danger. We got here. A fishman attack might make even the slightest noise. Have <laughs> I come scraped? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? 
Hi, kitty. Thanks, kitty. Not that I care, these idiots are such weenies that it doesn't even matter. But hey, you know, experience is experience. Tech points are tech points. Boot. And it's a good thing you ain't got to worry about people actually practicing. Where are you? Sewer access, 2300. You're actually baited to go here earlier. Uh, I didn't, though. Why? No reason. Wasn't it front? Just throw something across the gap. No. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is mean. Okay, the 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 critters in the the sewers attack when anytime anytime you make noise, right? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Okay, no, there's not. Ooh, why don't you use Falcon Strike? Mm, you know what? <laughs> kind of a waste, really, but... And the save point disappears. Lovely. Uh. Pardon me. No, that was there. <laughs> that took me the longest time to find out. That's kind of an obtuse way of getting around, isn't it? So switch on! It's out of reach! And you call yourself a frog. <laughs> I gotta admit, for a frog, that is pretty sad. Let's see what's in here. Rage band? Oh, I believe I... Wait, no. What is that? Uh, ooh! Oh, that I like! Hmm... Okay, 17, 14, 14, 18? 32? You know what? Never mind. I'm giving her that. What am I giving him that? I'll give him the Rage Man? Sure. Man, ain't nobody ever gonna hit her. He 
Oh, shred, yeah. That was a boss. Yeah, you're supposed to come through here a lot earlier. That was a mini-boss, and I obliterated him with, with, with two normal attacks, one of which was a crit. Sigh. I'm not impressed. <laughs> what the ew counter? I wish you could teach people to use we other weapon stuff, weapons besides their normal ones. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's hmm. Oh, okay. That's just an easy way out. What's in here? Okay, that's where I came from. Out and back, I suppose one should say. Eh, I don't want to fight you. Okay, so this should be the way out. Yep. So where are we going? Keeper's Dome. Interesting. Hello? Hmm. Um. Okay. Okay. What have we got in? Huh? To those who open the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I have once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. Oh! The great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Aeons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens, we do this. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Okay. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned by a, away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. Ah-ha-ha! Ha. In 1999, Lavos claims this area reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate like a giant parasite. He is consuming our world. Hmm. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I'm growing old. And it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times, so before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I've grown frail. So you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there. My last invention. My wings of time. He finished it! Wow, what have we here? This moves through time? What this thing? Hmm? Oh, 
Hello? Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar! I copied my memory into this thing, what do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge. Then use the L and R buttons to select an arrow, or you can just use the directional pad, that works too. Oh yeah, before you go, why don't you, uh... <laughs> Name my time machine. Epoch works just fine. Hop aboard! Cool. Let's go back to base. Impressive. <laughs> Ayla's having a <laughs> Ayla's having a blast, and Frog is freak. Frog and Grodo are freaked out. Oh! I've always capable of this? Well, it is sort of the point. Hey. Hey, before I talk to him, save. Interesting. So he actually finished the Wings of Time. In fact, he gave his life for it. Why not? Put that device to good use. Take it to the ancient land of magic. Suits me! We got a job to do. Hoorah! Actually, I'm curious. Has this opened up yet? It has. Who? Hmm. Oh, Getty, the village of the Earthbound ones. Okay. Lame. Let's see what's in here. What you got? Ho ho ho. Ooh, that's cool. Half again damage to magic enemies? Right on. Yep. Okay, we need to sell some stuff here. Oops. Hmm, that could be useful at some point. Oh, wow.
keep the ruby vests. Let's see, what was I considering putting on him? Oh, he's just getting power stuff, isn't he? Yeah, kind of by default, he's the power. He's the, he's the power hitter. Okay. Uh. Yeah, why not? Oh man, these are even better than flash mail. Oh, that's nice. Um. Well, since we don't know what we're up against right now, give him black. I didn't buy helms, did I? No. Alrighty then. What? Male only? <sighs> Lame. I'll give her the white, what the hell. Do do. <coughs> Who knows? What you get in the sewers? Ooh. Oh, nothing. No, nothing important. I actually did find one cool thing. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, huh? Also, check this out. The second, third eye? No. So check out what a check 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 her check her out. Two times a bit. Yeah, you knew that's what you you knew that was what it did. Sorry, I'd forgotten. But check out how high her evasion is. Now. Yeah, I mean it's compared to Everybody else is in the teens. It's higher than even Kronos. Yeah, everybody else is in the teens. She's in the 30s. Hmm. I, th I thought Chrono had about 30. Nope. Well, w with the third eye. Hmm. Note to self, Ayla is agile as all fuck. That's what? <laughs> agile as all fuck. Makes you wonder what she's like in bed. Makes you wonder what she's like in bed. Man, you're recording. So? Beast's nest, huh? Ah, this looks like an inn. Nah, I'm good. Hey, beds. 
Hmm. Okay, it didn't change, so I don't think we're supposed to do this yet. Yeah, one might say we have a date with destiny. Snowy. Have you gone to the ocean palace yet? Nope. That's where we're headed. What? Oh, that's garbage. We didn't. You didn't? You found another time portal? Nope. No? Well, what do you use? Can you dig it, sucker? So I guess you have to do the base cave now. Yep. That being the case... The ah! I hate it when NPCs walk through you. I know! I love the sleeping music. Yeah. Mm. I'm not surprised she isn't, like, socked out on her back. <laughs> I said, I'm half surprised that Ayla's sleeping animation doesn't just show her socked, socked out on her back like... Yeah. I'm half surprised he doesn't snore like a beast. Hello? Oh, ding! Incidentally... We have it has been decided. I've decided that Glenn is the heavy hitter. So you're spending all those power tabs on him? Yep. Five. Furthermore, actually, uh, she's not in the party right now. Ooh. See ya. Beasts. Um, I don't like that. Every time I hit them, their attack power rises. I don't know. Falcon hit. You could hit both. Eh, not worth the trouble. Nice. So go only one at a time so their attack doesn't raise? Something like that. Fail. Made you miss. Spire. Oh, oh, I love that attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. That would be Glenn and Chrono. And not only is it fiendishly effective, it looks awesome! Flash Blade, is that more powerful? Probably not quite as powerful with the hero metal, but I need a cha- I need a change. He, ne he needs a- he needs a- he needs a change. Besides...
Dum -da -da -dum. That's that hits pretty hard. I am duly impressed. Just a moment. I paused because I figured Yuji would want to see this. This Spire! Is this is Sparta! <laughs> Holy crap, he leaves his sword at the opponent. <laughs> It's a sweet attack, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Okay, I ran in a blue one. And a... And an imp. A mud imp, to be specific. This is boss music. They're a small boss. Boy. Eh. Yipes. That's what. He motivates them. That thing is like a, a pal all the way through that damn. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, hell no! Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, he'll wake up. That's not cool. Oh, that's really not cool. Yeah, he'll definitely wake up if he's stupid enough to do that move. Belly flop! He's physical resistant, though. Okay, there's a trick to the beast, and I can't quite remember what it is. Um, whenever you hit him, he falls onto. No, 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 no. The oh. beast, the beasts have a gimmick. Hmm. Um. Red is fire resistant. Or the other way around, I can't remember. Whenever you hit the MP, he bounces onto one of the beasts and they attack the person who attacked him. It's not exactly. That's interesting. <laughs> Take it easy. See ya, folks. We'll be back till Monday, so... Camp out. No. Not Monday. Uh, we'll be back till... Sometime tomorrow. But not in time for tomorrow's Let's Play, probably. So, see ya. Actually, really, he's everything resistant. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like, yeah, have we mentioned she's buff? <laughs> Crud. Up snow. You did not. Yeah, I need to get rid of this mook. There we go. Wait, what?
I totally forgot about that. Bantam imps? Like that. Okay, these guys. I'm gonna wait. I need a save point. But those guys are the ones I'm gonna cheat on a little bit. Why? Uh, wait, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But you notice those things are passive. Load helm, thank you. Okay, seriously, can I get a save point? Seriously? I mean, like, really? Hello? Gargoyles? Those look like gargoyles. They're also wussy. There we go, okay. Have a little shelter action. And save, and we'll see you Sunday.